Hey guys, it's Tammy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to play with the You Can Be Fruit Pie filling, which I got from Amazon or AliExpress. But this is what it looks like. And I thought, well, since I'm gonna play with it, I might as well do my full face with you guys. So let's go ahead and start with primer. I got this from Stila recently. I've never tried this and this used to be really popular back in the day. It's called the One Step Correct. This is the kitten version. So they have their original, but they've come out with a kitten version, which is so funny. I was thinking about this earlier, how brands will have like a popular product and they'll bring it out with like their whole line like NARS Orgasm, Steel Our Kitten, Charlotte Tilbury and her what's her thing called Pillow Talk. It feels nice and moisturizing but it is it does have like a gray ashy tone to it. Maybe this is like a color corrector for lighter skin tones. Definitely looking a little bit gray so moving on quickly. I have again this is like my third time trying to find my correct shade in this foundation the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. So now I have 10 neutral. First I tried 13 neutral and it was orange then I tried 11 neutral I think and it was still really warm and now I have 10 neutral. I'm hoping it's the right undertone it still looks pretty warm all of the neutral undertones that i've tried in this line just come out so warm but we'll see oh this looks too light let's just hope this dries down a darker shade i must say this is the closest that i've found to my skin tone it's not orange and it definitely dries down darker than how it goes on wet the coverage is amazing i only used one pump but the formula of this foundation is beautiful like it has full coverage it dries down matte if you have oily skin this is the charlotte tilbury foundation for you because most of her stuff is like illuminating lightweight this is the most full coverage foundation that she has and also of course the most matte foundation so it is a beautiful formula for my skin type so I'm just going to quickly warm up my skin before we move on to the eyes. I'm going to take the Revolution Foundation Stick in F16 and just and then just buff that in. This is a brush from my website, makeupbytammy.com. If you guys don't know, I sell brushes, cake liners, lashes, all of that good stuff. So yeah, I'm just going to buff this in quickly and warm up my skin tone. You see the difference that's already added, like a nice warmth to my skin. Yeah, that cream bronzer definitely did the trick. I'm looking a little bit more alive in my face now. But yeah, moving on to eyes, I'm going to quickly prime. I think I'm going to do two different eye looks with this palette just so that I can try more shades and give you a more rounded review. Because sometimes when you do just one eye look, I only get to test out like three to four shades out of a big palette. How many shades does it have? 30 eyeshadow shades and I would only test three or four and tell you if it's worth it or not it doesn't feel like i'm getting a real good gauge of the palette so i'm gonna try and test different shades so i'm thinking to do green and then neutral on the other eye because in my testing mitchell palette video i did green and then like warm tone and i feel like that's what i would end up doing with this palette so i'm thinking i'm gonna do green and then a neutral smoky so this palette i think it's about 10 to 15 pounds on amazon this is what it looks like comes with a mirror on the inside and then these are the colors so you get 30 shades in here I do think it is a dupe for the Morphe and Jeffree Star palette but they have changed a few colors in here that I think has made it even better so for example they've put this dark navy purpley blue in here which wasn't in the Morphe palette and I do love that they've added that option for a dark colorful outer v color they've also added this dark navy blue down here they've just added different like most of the top of the palette is the same but a few of the bottom shades they've definitely changed for the better in my opinion so anyway I'm gonna start with avocado which which is this dark green and I'm going to start this in the outer V very pigmented and carry that through the crease I think I'm going to do halo eyes so I'm just stamping that into the crease so I'm actually going to blend it out with the shade next to it which is called olive this kind of olivey green it's like an olivey yellow green I'm just going to use that to buff out the edges of the dark green It's not going patchy it's blending out nicely it's not as pigmented as the first green it's definitely taking a bit more building up that's blended out really nicely gonna go back to a small dab of the first green to deepen and darken it a little bit so on the center of my eye I have no idea how this is gonna look but this color has been calling my name ever since I opened this palette it's stunning it's like a duochrome greenish teal blue gray it is beautiful it's called dew so we're gonna take dew on the center but I'm first gonna prime my eyes with the NYX glitter glue oh yes that is stunning might need to deepen the edges ever so slightly just because the shimmer in the center I closed the wrong eye there i was like 
just because the shimmer in the center is looking a bit deeper than the green that color is beautiful and the formula of this is actually reminding me of like the beauty bay shimmers that kind of really metallic foiled looking shimmer but this uh formula is different to the other shimmers in the palette i can tell just by looking at it some of them are not they're all not as like creamy and foiled as this one so what i'm gonna do what i think will go even better with this look is a dab of that dark navy in the outer v which is called shiny plum this one here it's a little bit like a purple blue and use that as a deepening shade Oof. that was literally the smallest dab and it's so pigmented i'm gonna keep that really low in the outer v you're not gonna take it up high just gonna keep it low and also in the inner corner you could have also used the black in the palette to do this if you wanted, but I thought the blue would go really nice with the shimmer. Taking whatever's left on my brush that I had the first green on, just gonna diffuse the edges of that blue. I feel like I've done a look like this before, but at this point I've done every look before. <laughs> I'll save the inner corner for after I've done my concealer, but let's move on to the other eye. I haven't done a neutral eye with you guys in ages. I just find colors so much more interesting and beautiful in my opinion. I think neutrals are quite not boring but boring <laughs> for videos anyway i don't know do you guys like neutral looks or do you just feel like you know how to do them now like you're not really interested in watching i don't know so the first shade i'm gonna take is choco chips which is this dark burgundy almost dark brown and just like the other side i'm gonna start that in the outer v and the crease not as pigmented as the first green that i used it's taking more building but it's definitely getting there yeah, this shade's almost got like a purple undertone. It's not just like a straight brown. I mean, I tried to go neutral, guys, but they just insist on putting color on my eyes. <laughs> There's nothing really to blend it out with that's not gonna turn it colorful. Everything's kind of warm tone, orangey. What about this shade here, this filbert? I'm just gonna use that gently on the edges, but keep it pretty low. So I'm gonna go in with the shade, oh gosh, I need to drop the palette. Gonna go in with the shade Melon, which is this kind of pale beige shade. Don't know what I'm doing. I'm literally winging it and this is gonna go up. No, don't like that. No, Mission Abort, Mission Abort. Going back to Filbert, that orangey brown. Just gonna put that in the crease again. Then I'm gonna go back into Cocoa Chips, which is the first dark brown purple type of color that I took and put that into the crease and outer edges again to deepen and darken. Do you know what I think has happened? Because Filbert has a little bit of an orangey undertone and Cocoa Chips has that purpley undertone, they've kind of mixed together to make a dark brown. It's kind of working out. It's turning neutral in the end. So for the shimmer on my lid, I think I wanna go for this gorgeous kind of goldish green. It's called Sunshine. It's kind of like a dirty gold type of color. Wow. That is a beautiful gold. Gonna go back to Cocoa Chips again and just blend that into the gold. Just cause I want the edges even deeper than that, I'm literally gonna take the smallest dab of the black in the palette and just deepen this right edge, right on the outer edges. Yeah, I feel like that's just added another dimension to it. You could have left it at the last step if you don't want the deep and darkness of a black. I love it, the deeper the better. So now I'm gonna go in with concealer. And today I've picked my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Warm Sand. I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit and I'm gonna go wet my sponge. So I got this sponge recently from a brand called Rhubarb Beauty and it looks like this and it's really, really soft, but I love this sharp edge because it really makes it easy for me to clean up my concealer right here. So that concealer that I put there, I literally just use the side of the sponge and it gives it this really sharp line that I love. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and blend in this concealer now. This sponge is so soft. I really, really love it. And I love the grip that you can get around it as well because it's such a big boy. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> it's so funny when you get to know other YouTubers in real life, you realize that everyone is so different. Like everyone is so relaxed. I suppose, do you know what it is for me, guys? I obviously, in real life, I do swear. I mean, everyone does, right? But on my channel, you wouldn't know that because my little sister watches my channel, my mum watches my channel, my mother-in-law watches my channel. So I'm not gonna be out here, you know, like showing my full, full self that my friends see. So it's like everyone has different sides to them. Do you know what I mean? That your family sees, that your friends see, that your man sees, your girl 
tendencies like everyone has different sides i'm still my authentic self in my videos but i'm just not like my full potential if you know what i mean <laughs> so to set my face today i'm going to take the nars soft velvet loose powder in the shade beach which is like this uh banana yellow i'm just gonna press that underneath my eyes and down the center of my face as well oh that's a lot that is a lot <laughs> this brush is the morphe e53 brush so soft i love the morphe e line do they still do it and then to set the rest of my face i'm going to take my charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless finish powder in the shade four number three that i have has hit pan but this one is shade four they both work for me i don't really notice a difference in the shades mostly because of course it is a very lightly pigmented shade it's not heavy in pigment so i actually do have a new bronzer to test hmb cosmetics which is holly boone's brand they came out with bronzers so i do have two shades here they did send over every single shade but i'm not going to open every single shade they have pictures on the website but they do look lighter in real life than how they look online seven dark and eight dark tan are what i'm thinking is going to work for me and then shade number nine is actually lighter than shade eight so this is what the packaging looks like and this is number eight dark tan and then this one is number seven dark so this is seven and this is eight and then number nine is lighter than this one so i would say if you're deeper skin go for this one is kind of the darkest one but i think i'm gonna go for this one today which is seven i think these are pigmented so i'm just gonna take a small dab it's gonna be hard to see because i do already have the um cream bronzer on but i think that is showing up nicely oh yeah they're very pigmented i can tell just by dabbing that around my forehead that is very pigmented yeah that is a beautiful bronzer a bit darker than what i tend to go for nowadays so i might use shade number six next time so this is number seven and this is number eight they're very pigmented so you really don't need a lot i've also pulled out the other shades to quickly show you so let's start with number five medium deep yeah this one would probably work for me as a nice light bronze because typically i like to go for something just slightly darker than my skin tone to add a nice warmth to my skin but not usually this dark anymore i used to go this dark before but i feel like in real life it just looks a little bit harsh so i tend to go for something a little bit you know just darker and warmer than my skin tone so this number five would probably work beautiful for me five six seven eight so i'm also going to show you number nine deep but i'm not going to swatch it because i'm going to give this away i know it's not going to be for me so this is number nine deep and this is number eight so this one's more of a warm undertone and this one's more of a neutral so let's go ahead and move on to lower lash line you know me and my colorful eyeliners girl these are by barry m the high vis eyeliners i have the green one and the purple one for once it's not the makeup obsession ones but i love those as well but i thought i'd give those a little break so we're going to take the barry m green one on this side so I'm taking it inside the waterline but also across the lash line to kind of act as a base for the eyeshadows that I'm going to put down. Of course, avocado, the dark green. I'm going to put that on the outer and inner corner. We're basically going to do a halo underneath the eyes as well. Little dab of shiny plum which is the dark navy purpley blue. And then of course the shimmer shade called Dew right in the center of the eye. I probably should have used the glitter glue before I did this. I don't want to get much fallout but hopefully this is gonna work just really intensifying those corners to make sure it matches up with the top and then on this side i was thinking a purple waterline because this does have a purpley undertone so first i'm taking choco chips on the inner and outer corner and then i'm going to take a little bit of filbert right underneath and blend that out and then of course the gold right in the center and then for the inner corners i'm just gonna take this shade here called sugar cane which is just a light gold on both sides just because i want to do a little dab of it i'm not gonna go crazy with the inner corner highlight but just a little bit to brighten that corner and that is basically the eye looks of course i'm going to add mascara and lashes and stuff but first i want to go in with the charlotte tilbury highlighter that i got recently i tried it in my unboxing haul video but i haven't tried it like in a video with you guys properly i think it's limited edition for the holiday season so it looks like this and it comes in this giant silver packaging so i'm going to use this that is stunning that is such a beautiful highlight and you can start it off nice and subtle like this but then you can definitely intensify it if you do prefer a more intense highlighter it is a really universal shade it will probably not work for someone super pale because it is like a champagne-y pinky type of color so it might have a little bit of a cast but this is going to work for like light medium and medium dark yeah that is a really nice highlighter it's not texturizing it's not glittery it just looks like a 
really nice glow from the skin it's really expensive though so i don't know if it's worth the money but it is a beautiful one if you do have the money to play with so for my lips beauty bay came out with some lipsticks recently and they also came out with glosses the glosses have been out for a little while but the lipsticks haven't they literally launch i think this week so they have other shades but obviously these are the ones that i'm interested in the nudes they came out with like reds and pinks and stuff which i don't really wear so i kept the nudes and then out of the glosses these are the shades that i kept as well the nudes i'm so predictable i know but i also kept the dark brown as well so these are the shades that i kept so first we have cola freckle pinch tea and jam so these are the lipsticks from beauty bay so i think i'm gonna line my lips with cola and then maybe go in with freckle in the center on the outside oh that is gliding on nice this color by itself would go perfect with this look just cancel out the green look at that it's like a warm tone brown it's stunning gorgeous glided on beautifully really effortless doesn't drag really creamy really nice so going in with freckle in the center a little bit more pinky than i was planning to go for but i think that might be because cola has like a warm burgundy undertone so mixed together it's kind of come out a bit warmish but not mad at that formula at all so what i'm gonna do to hopefully warm the lip up is go in with this gloss called slippers oh this is an applicator that i don't like it's really small and it doesn't release much product smells delicious wow yeah i don't like the applicator of this i never like these tiny little applicators they're so annoying really comfortable not sticky at all it's almost like a creamy type of lip gloss rather than a sticky lip gloss gonna go in with the morphe lip liner just because i want a bit of darkness around the edges of my lip and this is the shade trendsetter which is a really deep dark brown yeah that's a bit more me that is a gorgeous lip combo this lip liner does save everything in my opinion so i'm gonna quickly put some lashes on and i'll come back to you with my final look okay so here we have the finished look what do you guys think i went in with uh jenny jenkins beauty lashes in the style aries if you guys know jenny jenkins here on youtube she came out with her own lash brand and it has this really nice gorgeous faux leather packaging and this is the style aries so definitely check it out i'm sure you guys can tell already based on these gorgeous looks on my eyes but I loved this palette. I loved playing with it. And I only really played with the bottom two rows. I didn't even touch like the orangey red pinky tones. So if you were looking into this palette, wondering if you should get it, I definitely feel comfortable recommending it based on these two looks today. So this is the neutral look. Smoky, sultry, gorgeous. And then this is the green tone look, really colorful, pigmented, bright. They just blended so well. I really love the quality of this palette. And on Amazon, it retails for about $11.99 or $13.99, depending on what seller you get it from, but around 10 to 15 pounds. Love the shade selection in here, love the quality. I just really enjoyed playing with this palette today. Let me know what you think. If you do already have this palette, because it's been out for a while, let us all know what you think about it. I would also recommend checking out the new Beauty Bay lipsticks. Really Really nice formula and of course the H&B Cosmetics bronzers as well really nice pigmented blendable formula with a gorgeous shade selection so yeah that is it for today's video guys go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it make sure you're subscribed to my channel and I'll catch you in my next one take care bye